Hi, this is Abhijit. So uh, I have one uh, no, uh, uh, question to uh, both the panelists. Mm -hmm. So this is about uh, today customers have come to expect a poor service. Uh, perhaps at the enterprise level, they are normally surprised when they are receiving a great service experience. In the last two, three times, you know, when I had personally, you know, contacted customer service across verticals like telco, insurance and retail, I couldn't speak to an agent. So why is that so? Is it by design or a choice? Okay. <laughs> I'll, take, I'll take a stab. Uh, <laughs> while not naming any industry, but telco's... Uh, Telcos behave differently. See, it's all about segmentation. Which segment have you put in? Depending on the segment that you are in, either you will be given a red carpet treatment or a standard treatment. Standard treatment might not be meeting your expectations. Uh, it's all about what the brand has promised you and what you're getting, including on the customer service side. Uh, if the brand promises, that you are my customer and I'll answer your call within, let's say, 60 seconds, whichever channel you're coming in, uh, interaction, and it is not being upheld, whether it is due to the sizing issue at the call center or, or the design of the process itself or whatever, then you're probably going to have a slightly uh, less than optimal experience, I would say. But trust me, I have not come across any brand which wants to deliberately deliver this experience. It is happening in spite of their best efforts. Sometimes it is uh, just bad luck that you tried at some time when the volumes were very high. Uh, but trust me, in all my career, wherever, where, wherever I have, this is not done deliberately. Yeah. Only yeah. except in some cases where earlier, and it, it used to happen long back, that the ARPU was, taking example of telcos, the ARPU was lower and you probably didn't want every segment of your caller to talk to your contact center. Not for, uh, you know, uh, simpler queries which could be answered on IVR. Now, it depends on whether the customer is very comfortable with the IVR or not. But yeah, it used to happen. I don't think they're doing it any longer because the technology has evolved to a level where they, they should be able to handle. Uh, but I'm surprised if, if you are having this consistent experience across uh, sectors, 